Ich habe mir Dan geschnappt, er ist Produktspezialist für Gibson USA. So Dan, you're a product specialist for Gibson USA. Yes, I am. All right, so, so, so you're running us through all the new stuff here? Yeah, we have our entire USA lineups pretty much completely revamped. Yeah. We have a lot of new models and a lot of new features. All right. So, what do we have here? So this is our new Futura model. This is one of the highlights of the show. Uh, it's basically a Les Paul Studio style body. We have a pretty ocean color. Oh yeah, we have a lot of new colors. We focused a lot on blues this year. Uh, this has a Burst Bucker 3 and a Sidewinder. It's a, one of their new P90s. It's actually a humbucker turned on its side, so the coils are facing this way instead of up and down. Okay, so is it... So is it, is it um, it's a hum, it's basically like a, here? Yeah, yeah, you you can you can tap the coil. Yeah. You can also do the same thing for the uh, for the burst bucker. And we also included an active 15 decibel boost here. So these are these are the uh, the only guitars we have with push push pots. Uh, but it's, you know something a little bit different. We also have some new speed knobs on these too. They have a, a better grip. Okay. So the battery Let's compartment's accessible around, so, right here, yeah. which is cool. And another neat thing about these guitars, too, is if you don't want to use the boost or you don't want to have a battery in the guitar, you can pop this out and it will work as a kill switch because it's true ah, bypass. I see. It's very cool. Uh, and this also features the, you know, the mini tune system we debuted last year. We have it standard on a lot of our new models for 2014. So it's you know, really cool. Just uh, turn it on, strum the strings. The latest and greatest from Tronic. You can save all the different tunings on it? Yep, you have yeah. six individual user presets and it comes with 12 factory presets. Yeah. So, that's yeah, very cool. And uh, you know, we're just out in the B, and when it's in tune, it shuts right off. And, uh, you know, it's pretty simple to use. So, it's a good system. It's great, and you know, if, uh, unlike some of the previous uh, versions of our robot guitars and, uh, you know, some of the other. Uh, copycats out there if the battery stops working on this or if you forget it at home while it's charging you can still tune it by hand and the guitar will work fine without it yeah perfect yeah okay so let's that's put this one back that's it well, let me put it back thank you <clears throat> all right so, so the next thing is the new classic we've got to yeah to. this is more of a uh, more of a traditional style guitar uh, compared to the Futura which is just so it's still totally out there the T500 here? No, these are uh, no? these are our Super 57s. Yeah. So it's a 57 classic, wound a little bit hotter. Uh, this switch right here also works as a uh, as a boost as well. So it's got the same boost circuit as in the future. 15 dB. Yep, 15 yeah. dB, and it has an internal trim pot which you can change it around if you know you want to cut it down a little bit or give it a little bit more juice. You can do that. Uh, and these have the coil splits as well. Uh, these have a single A figure top. This one's got a little bit of bird's eye, and this is our seafoam green. We have this in a couple new new models. Uh, this and the new Supreme. Very nice, yeah. Really nice, yeah. yeah. You know, it's a nice piece of mahogany. Got battery the same, boost. yep, same battery compartment, and we have the traditional tuners on here. Uh, if you wanted to get the guitar with mini tune for uh, you know a couple hundred bucks more, we all offer the uh, the signature, which is a very similar guitar with a double A top and with mini tune, but it's, you know. So it's always a choosable close. option, is it? Uh, no, it's it's standard on a lot of the new models. Yeah. Um, you know, the only the only model we offer as an option is the LPJ, and that becomes the LPM. I see. Yeah. Okay. And so the SGJ the, and, and the L SGM. So on, okay. So it's yep. only on that tier. Is yeah. This choosable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It comes standard on the uh, the Futura, the LPM, the Signature, the Peace, and uh, the standard ba the base level standard. Okay. Yep. All right. So I'll put that That's one back. See from green. I like that color a lot. All right, yeah. So let's head over here, and I'll show you the new Peace guitar, which is, uh, it's made a lot of... Uh, the Peace guitar? Yeah, it's made a lot of... Uh, people have been interested now. <laughs> so this is our new Les Paul Peace model. The, uh, the toggle switch is tie-dye. We've got tie-dye Peace logos on, the, on the, uh, the knobs here. We have a brushed metal Peace logo here yeah. with Peace sign tail studs. It's pretty funny. There's many piece on it. Yep. This also comes with mini tune, just in case you want to get really freaked out, right? Um, and these also feature our new 63 humbuckers. Oh. Or I'm sorry, not 63, 61 humbuckers. 61, all right, okay. And uh, they're, they're uh, more of a 60s kind of sound, so they're you know a little bit brighter, they got a little bit more output than 57, like a 490. So yeah, they go well with this guitar. And these are also available on our LPJ. So, and SGJ. Uh, okay. So, yeah, it's you know, one of the several new pickups we released this year for USA. And the great thing about all of our USA guitars now is the frets. Our fret wire is still nickel, but it's cryogenically treated, so it lasts four times as long and is corrosion resistant. Oh. So you get all the benefits of stainless steel without that really sharp attack 
you know. So it's uh, it's definitely definitely beneficial. You know, I, I it doesn't feel any different, but it you know it's much better, lasts a long a lot longer. So it lasts longer because um, yeah, the wearing is not bad. Yeah, yeah. They ba basically, they they freeze the metal you know down to make the the molecules much more stable and sturdy. So. It's a you know new process we're doing for 2014. We've never done it before, and you know I, I think it's a great idea. But it's only for the frets, not for the hardware. Yeah, just for the frets. Just for the frets, yeah. okay. Yeah. And these are cool too. They also come with a hemp case with a tie dye interior, so it kind of completes the package. Just in case you want to feel extra groovy. But uh, yeah, we also offer it in a couple different colors here. We have a blue, we've got a purple, and we've got a green. The green looks great. You know, it's one of the few green Les Pauls I've seen. This is called Mellow Out Green. It's a rad color. I, I like it a lot. It looks really classy. So from there, um, you know, we have some new colors on our Les Paul standards. So this is one of my favorites, and everybody seems to love this. It's just beautiful. It's called Ocean Perimeter. I, I think that's stunning. And we have similar specs uh, on our Les Paul standards this year. We've upgraded the, the colors are pretty unique. I mean, I know those colors yeah. from maybe from PRS or something like that. Yeah, or you know, more or less. Yeah. Some of them, you know, are kind of reminiscent of yeah. some of our custom sure. colors that yeah. we've done, a few custom options. And, uh, you know, it's great seeing them in production guitars that a lot more people can afford. You know, they're beautiful and, it, you know, really grabs your attention if you're on stage. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. So from there, uh, we have a new top of the line guitar, the new Supreme, which is uh, really our crown jewel. That's the standard. Ah. The Supreme is this guy right here. This here? Yep. The <coughs> The hello? Yep. So the hello lady? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this year uh, we kind of updated our Supreme quite a bit. For anybody who remembers the guitar from, you know, the f few years back, uh, it's totally different. You know, the, obviously the most striking feature is the fact that it's got bound F holes, which is, uh, you know, something we haven't done on a Les Paul Supreme ever. Uh, we've also changed the pickups. Um, you know, it still has the same 498T, but we also have a Johnny Smith style floating mini humbucker in the neck. Yeah. Kind of classes it up a little bit and makes it a little bit more stunning. And, uh, you know, ebony's getting harder and harder to get, but we, we have some ebony left and, you know, we're still getting in. It's, uh, we have an ebony fingerboard on this guitar. That's so it. this is yeah. really our top of the line. We have a quad. And the back side is figured also. Oh, yeah, triple yeah. A, triple A flame maple back. Cool. So. But you have such tan block here, it's not hollow, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So, uh, similar to, uh, you know, the construction of an ES, except, you know, it's, it's solid instead of a, you know, laminate, which is, you know, for somebody who's going to really get one of their, you know, best guitars they've ever owned, this is a great, great guitar to go with. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so you have a new signature model? Yeah, we have the yeah. new uh, DJ Ashba guitar. And we're showing that off. We debuted this at CES this year in Las Vegas a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And that's this guy right here. The black one here? Yep. It's our lovely assistant, Kyle. So, we've got All right. Our, so it's black. After all these colors, we have a black guitar. <laughs> well, you know, we, yeah. we have to show at least one. Right? Yeah. So this is the new DJ Ashba signature guitar. This is the guy who plays guitar with Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Uh, it's got a kill switch where the toggle would be, and the toggle got moved down here. Uh, it has Seymour Duncan pickups. You got a satin matte black finish with uh, some gloss stripes on here and his his signature logo right yeah. there. And uh, it might be hard to see on camera. All right, but so this is not a toggle switch here. Right, no, it's a kill switch. All right, so yeah. you're okay. That's here's where your toggle, toggle is. Yeah. All right, all right. And uh, you know, it might be hard to see on camera, but this has a uh, black binding around it as well. So it's a little bit darker than the charcoal if you see the sides. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the you know the neck and the frets are bound as well on this guitar. So it's not colored; it's a binding. No, that's real binding. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, this is our uh, our first signature guitar of the year. You know, it's the first one I've seen. So this is, uh, you know, for somebody who wants to keep it subtle but still rock. Right? Yeah. Very good. All right. Back. So that's it for the new stuff? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Main, we got mainly? Some, yeah, yeah. For, for Les Pauls, yeah. You know, we've got some, uh, some new SGs. You know, the SGJ and the SGM have been changed. Um, they changed the pickups and the you know the pickup covers. Uh, we got those over here, um, and uh, you know the SG standard. We've added coil splits onto it this year, and we also put mini tune as a standard feature on the SG right. standard. So uh, you know they're it's kind of improving on the on the design. That was a massive success last year. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So thanks, Dan. Have you ever been to Germany? I have. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I have. So what do you can 
But he can speak in that language. Uh, <laughs> auf Deutsch, ja. Auf Deutsch. Ich liebe Deutschland. Ich liebe Deutschland, that's cool. Okay. So, uh, have, you, um, have you been to a music mess also? So I haven't fast? been to music mess yet, no. 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 Yeah. I know, not, not yet. Not yet. I'm looking forward to going yeah, sometime soon. In the future. Hopefully, I got to take some more, uh, some more German lessons. All right, okay. So let's say goodbye to Germany. Auf Wiedersehen. Wiedersehen.